so here it is the Chinese shoe patcher slash leather sewing machine this is basically how it arrives in a box like this which was only slightly more put together slightly more in one piece here we have it uh, a lot of chilled up styrofoam and yeah it is in a pretty dirty state when it arrives check this out this is the legs that I don't think anyone has ever used all the videos that I've seen online people just chuck these straight away I think that's part of it yes so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and take it out the styrofoam as much as I can and then we're gonna we're gonna put it together and it's solid and here we go all right let's take a look inside came with a small pack of needles very nice Pop them to one side. Here's the turning plate. Those edges are sharp, so be careful of that. It's all pretty much in one piece. I thought there'd be a lot more assembly than this, to be honest. But it seems to be pretty much all in one. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, lot of sharp edges on this thing. Here it looks like there's some spares. Here's uh, the base plate that was supplied and. Man, dodgy welding and like the plate itself isn't even flat. You can see there's like a, a bent over that side there. And, mm, not gonna be using this. We're gonna build our own base for this, uh, this little sewing machine thing here. Well, let's go ahead and fit the old wheel. There's two cutout rungs in here. And I'm presuming this has to go on the inside one and then this little ball bearing here has to go on the outside one. Grab a little wrench. No idea what these two washers are for. We got two washers and two bolts. I'm presuming they are for the base plate that we're not gonna use. The needle, which is currently broken off. Good thing they sent you spare needles. I've since put in a new needle, but it's a good idea regardless to check inside the bobbin area. I don't know if it has an actual name apart from bobbin area. Use a magnet. That's the way to do it. Get yourself a little magnet on a stick. Use that to pull the bobbin assembly out. Put that to one side. And then there's this thing in here, this bent up piece, that will also spin around. That's like this piece here. You get a little wire holder of spares. Um, but, you probably can't see on camera, but I can actually see in there there's a little bit of broken needle so the needle that was on this one they shipped it, i guess broke off and it's pieces of it are now in there i'm going to try and see if i can get this guy out ah there we go get it right in there this bit here is pointing straight back so i know which way to put it back in once i've got it out there we go and then how's it looking in there it's kind of Kind of gross. Right, let's get the old magnet out now. There's a tiny bit of needle right there. And then I'm gonna put a little drop of oil in. Right down all that gear. Yeah. There's actually a little hole there for the oil. Okay. There's tons. It's probably way too much oil. It might make my thread oily. Probably shouldn't have done the oil thing. And then this guy goes back in. There we go. Hold the string down through this little dip there. Some people say that they need to file that a little bit bigger. My one seems to be okay. Slide your top plate back over. And then, oh, where's my test leather? Okay, so relocated inside. And I found a piece of scrap leather just to give it a test on. Show you guys how it works. And you can lift the foot up just like that, or when the foot's just in this rising motion, you can hold it, and then you can take that, and you can spin this around to sew in different directions. Or you can just turn your leather piece around if you want to change direction as well. You can do it that way. Very nice. So it's pretty good on both sides. Tension could probably be adjusted a little bit. 
<laughs> it works. Let's try doing double. Give that a go. There we go. Hard to see on that side, but you can see the triangle bit on the top. Went through two layers of leather just fine. I mean, I didn't really have much doubt that it would. I've seen people uh, on YouTube here sew through car tires with this machine, um, which is pretty damn impressive. One bolt really to put it together and build yourself a base, but I mean, I was expecting it to be a lot more building than that, to be honest. So this is more just kind of like a, a, an unboxing and having a look kind of video. But uh, if you've watched this far, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos using the leather sewing machine coming out very soon. Catch you guys next time. Cheers.